Right, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm back up at one of my favorite places up in Shark Bay. I had to get away from the winter weather. We've had the worst winter that I can even remember back in Perth. Um, I drove up last night, through the night. It didn't stop raining the whole drive. So I got up here early this morning, had a sleep in, set up my camp, had some breakfast, and now I've just got everything rigged up, ready to go, and just waiting for the tide to turn at this spot, some water to flow in, and hopefully we can find some fish. So fingers crossed it was worth running away from the Perth terrible weather. Um, tides aren't very good, the wind's pretty bad up here, but I just had to get away. So let's make the most of it and see what we can get. Gonna start the morning off with a four inch grub. Start with the bigger lures and then work my way down and see what is hungry. Oh. There is a huge school of yellow fin brim up there. So I'm gonna get the light rod. Two and a half inch grub. It's quite windy. I should be able to get out there. I've got a bit longer rod, but I've only got eight or 10 pound leader. It's very sharp oyster covered rocks here. So I may be in a bit of trouble, but the brim are just hanging around these rocks. It's a big school of them just there. I can see them with my uh, sunnies on. I don't know if you guys will be able to see them there, but I'll try and stay back a bit. Far out. It's a big school. Yeah, it's a big school of them. Nah, not far enough. I'll see him darting around. Hit. Yep. Look, I should probably have had the drag a bit tied up. Oh no. Oh wow, that's actually a really good one. <laughs> okay. First fish of the trip. is an absolute thumper of a yellowfin brim. Wow. All right. We'll get the hook out and get this one on its way. A little two and a half inch grub on a weedless hook. Sucked it right in. We'll let him go. The school's still sitting there, so we'll let him go down this way away from the school, so hopefully it doesn't spook him. But that'll be 35, 37 centimeters of yellow fin brim. Oh, thanks. Woo! First fish. Let's get another one. So there's a group of them sitting there, but there's a couple of bigger ones sitting just behind this rock in the current. They're the ones that I want. So I've got to try and cast with the wind and hope that the wind brings it back to where it'll land. Oh, there's some really big ones there. No, nah, not the best, but they're on it. Nah. Oh, that's got the ones behind. That's where I wanted it. Come on, pause. So hard in this wind. Yep. It's a mile away. I got a little mile away. Oh. Little Sophie. Get this guy back. Awesome. There we go. Yep. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Black snapper, I think. 
Yep, Emperor. Oh, a lovely one too. Not a bad Emperor. Species number four. Whoop, oh, whoops, yeah. Whoop. Oh, that's fish number four. So I'm throwing this top water pencil and the tailor are just here. Oh, there's a school of bait fish just in front here. School of mullet passing through. So I just walked the dog with this pencil and they're just smashing it full speed. Oh, hit. No, oh, I miss. They're on it. Oh, no, my rod's tangled. Ah. My rod got tangled. Where's my lure? Oh, I've got a fish on. <laughs> He's swimming around with it. Oh no, just pulled hooks. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Now, let's uh, let's try that again. A little bit better organized this time. Okay. So there is Taylor out here. Bloody pencil. Switches, come on, where are ya? Twitch, twitch. Oh, there's one looking at it. Nah. No way, where'd they go? I don't know if that's the school of Taylor or Mullet. Let's go find out. They look like big flashes, so they could be Taylor. All those ripples there on the surface look like school of something. Oh, I might be a bit far behind them. It's Taylor. Oh no, it's Taylor. Yep. Yes. Come here. Oh. It's Taylor. They're Taylor. <laughs> How cool. He's going psycho. Whoa! Oh, there is line everywhere. He can go back. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't even move it. The lure just sitting on the surface got eaten. A little bit behind the school. Oh, yes! On. <laughs> oh no, full hooks. Had a pretty fun session so far. The wind's coming through in little gusts as these uh, clouds move over. So the wind's dropped right off at the moment. So I'm gonna go back to the ultralight gear again. Try and get a big brim, because I've got a goal up here to get i've got a 50 centimeter brim from up here before but i didn't get it on film because my batteries are flat and everything you know the usual no proof unless you've uh got a photo and or video so i'm trying to do that i've got a, a couple of big ones um but i want to get a 50 on film put it on a measure and show you guys that there is some true monster brim up here so while the wind's dropped chuck back around with the uh the eight pound gear, two and a half inch grub, and see if we can find that big, big brim. Oh, big flathead. Woo. Beautiful flathead. Come here. Don't spike me. Not a bad size flathead. Okay. He can have the hook out on the ground. I don't want to get spiked. There we go. Hook's out. Off you go. 
midwives. See you, little guy. Big black snapper. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, not that big. Oh, it's windy. Oh. Wind's back. Time to put the light gear away. Oh, it's uh, see ya. Let's get some more top water, Taylor. We're back throwing the surface plug around. Just trying to find the Taylor. Cause they've got little patches that looks like one there oh miles off the wind's caught that not even close oh yeah a little bit closer yep yeah <laughs> straight over the top of them <laughs> this one's got some energy. <laughs> hey! Might be a bit bigger fish, actually. I think it might be a bit bigger. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, that's about 50. A little bit bigger. All right. I think that'll do it for this spot for today. Call it quits and uh, head back to camp. Cook up a big lunch, I think, a late lunch, and get ready for a night session. I want to try and get a big pinky or a mulloway, but with the tide and moon not being very good, I'm going to have to do a bit of exploring and try and find somewhere new to, compared to where I normally sort of fish for them. But uh, we'll give it a go. I've collected four Taylor here for baits tonight. So that should do. They're all sort of about 40 centimeters. That'll be more than enough bait for, for just me tonight. Um, as long as I don't have any problems with sharks or small pickers and stuff, it should be more than enough bait. And we'll see if we can turn those into something a little bit bigger. So we'll head back to camp, cook up a mean feed, um, and then get ready for the afternoon session and into the night. Fingers crossed we find something good. Well. I'm just walking back from where I was fishing up at the point and in this little shallow bay here there's a few sharks and stuff and I just noticed some little fish flashing some little silver long silver flashes in the shallows I've just cast out my little grub because that's all that I've got on and a pack of huge yellowfin whiting have just chased my lure so I'm gonna chuck a vibe on oh they're just just here about five meters off the shore I've, I've got the polarized glasses on so I can, I can see them quite clearly but it's really hard to see but yeah about 10 meters out there's all these silver flashes and it's all the whiting feeding as the tide's coming in so i'll tie a vibe on i wanted some whiting for dinner see if i can get myself a handful to eat um yeah we'll give it a go and see if we get some where are those flashes just there so. oh on right away oh wow Look how many there is. Oh, there's hundreds. <laughs> yes! I'll catch a few for a feed and then these are so much fun. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, no. Look at them chasing it. I'm on. Fish on. Yeah! <laughs> Look at them! There is so many yellowfin whiting here. Whoop! Hits on again. Oh, I pulled hooks. You gotta go so gentle on these things. Slow wind with the vibe. There we go. Fish on. Oh. 
This is so cool. Look how many there is following this one in. Oh, I want to get this one in. This one's actually pretty big. Oh, that's my biggest one. Yellowfin whiting on a vibe. Whoop, slimy thing. Slimy, slimy. Stop kicking. Not the biggest fish, but certainly one of the tastiest. That's cool. Uh, we'll get a few more for a feed and let the rest go. Such a fun fish on lures. Stop with the kicking. Calm down. Come on. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. They are using that little vibe and they're just picking it up. And there's little assist hooks off the back, you're just pinning them nicely in the jaw. I've got enough for a feed now. I'll catch and release a few more because they're a lot of fun. Oh, this one can go back. <laughs> there is so many. Okay, well, we've got our feed of whiting. I've just using a little one to four kilo combo. Got a nice tasty feed of yellowfin whiting there. So just kept enough for a feed, let a heap go. Had a wicked session just because I noticed the little silver flashes as I was walking along the beach back from where, where, where I was originally fishing. I was just walking along the beach and just in this little shallows, it's only knee deep water at most. But I just saw these little silver flashes and it's just where the whiting come in the feed as the tide's rising. They'll come right in these shallows and I was hooking them two meters out from the edge just here. And you can see them cruising around. So pays to pay attention to the little details. And yeah, because of those little silver flashes that I noticed, we've now got a nice tasty feed of yellowfin whiting. I'm gonna make a surf and turf with that because I've got a nice steak in my angle when I get back to the car. So I think that's gonna be my lunch is some whiting fillets, salad, and a nice steak. Sounds pretty good to me. Sweet, well, let's get back to the car, cook up lunch, and then we'll get into tonight's session and try and find that big snapper on my way. I've got my whiting fillets there, got my steak. I'll do a bit of lemon juice and butter for the whiting fillets and just salt and pepper for my steak on a nice little grill pan. So clean the cooker down, cook me up some food, and then we'll get going that way. I'm gonna go try and find a snapper or a mulloway tonight. So I'm gonna get this sorted, cook it as quick as I can, pack my stuff and head up there for sunset. That sun 
is we've got a couple of hours a few hours not too many though so i don't want to be running late i need to be up there and fishing by sunset let's get into it dinner's done i've got myself where's the shadows there i've got myself a feed of whiting with shallots and soy sauce and sweet chili sauce with a steak so just a basic surf and turf i just made a weird concoction something to get me by for today in a bit of a mission to get ready and tidy everything up so we can go for a fish and try and get some bigger fish so i'm going to smash my food we're going to pack everything up go for a drive up the beach probably should let my tires down on the car as well um yeah we'll go for a drive up the beach try and get some bigger fish tonight fingers crossed we get something if not there's always tomorrow so cool i'm gonna eat my food and we'll get into it Wait for the sun to go down now I got a couple of rods out, so I've got my 30 pound setup with a fresh fillet of tailor on it and the new Saltist MQ. By the time this video comes out, I'll be allowed to talk about this, but at the moment that, that reel doesn't exist. So this is the first time I've ever used it. Fingers crossed it catches something good, but I've been impressed with my bg mq and this is just another step up from that so i can't see me being disappointed in this at all let's see what tonight brings oh little bites i've just got it there's a reef edge here you can see where the waves are breaking then drops off into deeper water behind that so i'm hoping oh little bites come on big fish grab it I'm hoping that once the sun goes down and it gets dark that they'll use this edge to cruise along and feed because the tide's very very low and the only other spot that I think would hold fish with the tide so low I don't like fishing it on this moon phase so trying something new see if it works see if we catch a fish fingers crossed it happens soon so I don't have to sit here all night in the freezing cold I've hooked up, I thought it was a shark, but I've been fighting it for a bit now and it hasn't bitten me off and it's swimming around a lot, so, because I thought I would have been bitten off if this was a shark, because I'm not running wire. It's got very head shaky sort of lunges like a, like a cobia. I don't know, I'm confused. I thought if this had teeth, I would have been bitten off. It might actually be something good. I doubt it, but I thought I'd roll the GoPro just in case. Oh my God. I thought this was a shark, but I've just knocked over. Oh, is the other rod right? Well, that is a... 12 kilo mile away. First fish. First time using my new saltist. <laughs> Man, I am absolutely buzzing right now. That is a beast of a fish. Okay, let's grab the other GoPro and we'll get, I'll pick it up and we'll get some footage. Oh man. What, what a fish! Oh my God, I am absolutely peaking. This is about a, a 12 kilo mile away. What, what an amazing fish. Far out. I'm, I'm in shock, I thought this was a shark. I, uh, I hooked up, it screamed off. Solid dead weight like a shark. It was only when it, I got it back in but it uh, stopped and shook its head in the surf and I saw the silver flash. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. That is, that is a solid fish. This is a hard solo as well. I'm using my phone. I've got it set down below me here with the preview of the GoPro. I've got my headlamp shining on me to try and do this. Filming solo at nighttime is hard work, but this is, 
an absolutely incredible fish. I wanted to let it go, but it's well and truly swallowed the hooks. There's two 7.0 BKKs all the way down the back of its throat. So I don't want to let a dead fish go because I don't think this fish should make it. But there's a couple of other campers at the same campground. I'm sure they appreciate some fresh fish. So I'll take a bit for myself and uh, I can always share a bit with the other campers as well. Oh, first fish on the new Saltist MQ as well. <laughs> Absolutely stoked. Did really, really well as I thought it would. <laughs> wow, what a first fish for the reel. First time I've used it, first fish is a big muller weight. Whoa. Whoa, that was hectic. Okay. Let's get this fish sorted out. Oh. Yes. That is so good. Woo. I'm absolutely stoked with that. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I've forgotten my icky pick, so the knife will have to do. We're looking for the soft spot behind the eye. Yeah, yeah that there. There it is. There we go. Just to brain spike the fish. Okay, now we'll bleed him. All right, that's it. Couple of steps. There we go. Fish has been bled. Just to ensure that we get the best quality meat we can out of this and so that none of it goes to waste. What an awesome fish. Wow. Okay, let's get packed up. That'll do. I'm not gonna fish anymore, don't need to. I am more than happy with that. So let's get everything packed up and head back to camp. See if the other campers are still awake if they want some fish. If not, we'll give them some in the morning. Just go back to the car. Fish in the car. Had to walk about two k's with that fish. Back to the car. I'm buggered, that's it. No more walking and fishing for today. I'm done, I'm happy with that. That's a solid fish. Nice.